I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do a part two. It just cut off on me. So I reached my maximum. So this is gonna be the split together. So let me see. Let me go to the host higher. It's like it's Ishii or Sailor. Listen to this. Therefore, see. Now listen to this. First he said in verse 13, And I shall punish her, which is Yisolade, Israel, for the days of the balls to which she burned incense and adorned herself with her rings and jewelry and went after her lovers and forgot me, declares your poet. Don't y'all go out to the club with all kind of big hula hoop earrings and, and got all your jewelry on and your, and your nails ready, going to go dancing and partying, okay, chasing after trying to hook up with your man and all this, you know, this, this, these, these are demonic beings causing you to think like this. This is what he's telling you. You're running after harloting. Okay. Therefore, see, I am alluring her and shall lead her into the wilderness and shall speak to her heart. Um, he's not going to speak to the heart of those who are not his people. And he knows the difference. You better, I'm going to tell y'all right now, Christians are everybody. You better get on your knees, fasting and praying. I'm just telling you, because I'm I'm in it right now. Okay? And get him to reveal to you who is the bride. For real. Quit being quit listening to your pastor telling you who the bride is. Ask the most high who the bride is. Some of y'all going to get shocked. I'm telling you. Because if you really go in there with a pure heart and a pure mind and without no, forget what you've learned in the churches at all. Because that's what he says, come to me like you have no knowledge. That's what a child is. Like you have no knowledge, like you never received anything. That's, that's why he says, I can't fill up a vessel that's already full up. That's what the old wine means. You got to be completely empty, which means empty of what? Your vessel has to be empty of everything you know. He told me that when he woke me up. He said, you don't think you, you don't know anything. You need to purge. Forget what you know. He made that clear. This is how you come to him in prayer. That's how I know he chose me because he chose to tell me that. Okay. It says... Now he is alluring you into the wilderness and shall speak to her and give to her her vineyards from there and the valley of Okor as a door. So he's going to give you back what you gave. But, you know, the point is, some of us got to go ahead like we did before and prepare it. But at the same time, the, the Most High is going to be part of it too. And there shall be responding in the days of your youth as in the day when you came out of Kamata. So this is the captivity he's bringing his people back from. Hello? People say, oh, well, oh, yeah, the Israel was formed and they're running back there. But it's a mess. That place is messed up. What did he say with his place and he come back? He said, it's going to be vineyards. Beautiful. Like the, it was going to be like it's brand new, like when we first came out of Kamata. Does that the way the current Israel looks like today? No. And it shall be in that day, declares the Most High, that you call me my husband and no longer my ball. So most people don't even know. You can look this up. The word ball is Lord. So you're not going to be calling him Lord. So his chosen people right now, he is already fixing that. He's starting to teach this. Okay. And I shall remove the names. So he's not. So this is for all y'all who think the most high language is English or Yiddish. These are all languages that didn't exist when the most high was created. He has his own. He knows his language. Ask him what it is. If he chooses to reveal it to you. Ask him what he calls what he speaks. 
Because those of us who are now learning, we now know. Okay. Now, at the same time, so Israel was created, okay, and Israel believes came back to their land. Oh, we're going to have it. False prophecies again. It says, when his people come home, animals won't be even killing each other. <laughs> when his people come home, animals won't be even be killing each other. It's going to be like, whoa, the lion's not even attacking the gazelle anymore. I'm telling y'all. And they took this out of other books, but mine, for some reason, is keeping it in here. And I shall take you as a bride unto me forever. Wait, we're in the book of Hosea, right? Where's Christianity at? Where's the church at? Remember, in earlier times, he said, I divorced, I broke the bow with 11 of my tribes, but not Judah. So he was really, he was helping you, but he was not your husband all the way. Trying to turn to his back sometime, you know? Until you, the only way you, that's why I keep trying to tell Christianity, you deceive. Because once you receive the Messiah, you're already with the bridegroom. Forever. You have received him, the true Messiah. And you are now his bride forever. So he will treat them. Let me explain it to you. He that's why I'm so glad Simon Toko and Simon Kimball and all these people came and helped us with this. They undid a lot of these things that we've learned, and now we're learning how how deceptive that's starting to catch fire. He set the fire. That's when the war against the Lamb took place, y'all, against him. That's when the Lamb, the war against the Lamb started. While Satan was trying to start World War Three and all these different things, because he already knew what was up. Because he didn't, he didn't want his delusion to get out because he wanted to destroy the people before they could be judged. He's not going to let you just judge him. This fall, we said the fallen You think the fallen angel is going to be like, oh, yes, please, put us in the hell's fire. That's the deception we had in our head. Oh, we don't. We, we got Jesus. We ain't got to worry about that. Wait a minute. Hello? You got Jesus, but what, how come the devil's still running around? Acting crazy if the church is the bride when it says you will judge angels. Shouldn't we be judging them right now? If the Messiah, oh, but we gotta wait for Jesus. No, when Jesus comes, you come in, you going to oh, you already raptured. You already with him. You have you have already been. I'm Hallelujah. And it shall be in that day that I could said the answer the Zulu that, that I answer the Zulu and the answer the earth, and the earth answered with the grain of the new wine and the oil and the answer Yisra Yisolele. And I shall sow for her myself in the earth, and I shall have compassion on her who had not obtained compassion. Okay, wait a minute. Aren't the Askenai Jews receiving compassion? But he says, we're here. His people have not received compassion. And my people, he says, and, and I shall say to those who were not my people, now you are my people. So he, he said to people, you're not my people, now you are. Okay. Are y'all not understanding what's going on here? Christians were never told he wasn't his people. You would tell, oh, come to Jesus. I'm telling y'all, Satan has deceived the whole world. So what I'm trying to say here, people, in this awakening, for me, my role is to do what the Most High has said, what He has given me to do, because the point is, it I don't it doesn't matter what 
people want to say negative because I already know the Messiah said you will be hated for telling the truth. Like he was. You For revealing the real truth, you will be hated. Not loved. And only those who have light-minded thinking like you will come join together with you. Those who do the will. What is the will of the Father? Those who do the will of my father are my mother and my brother. Which means that's my family. What is his will? You better find it out because by the, most people think they know the father's will. And I'm telling you. They get up there and they're like, I thought that was you. No. You, your will is to do what I told with the, what my son my Benna set up these seven churches to do that they that he got upset with them because they didn't do it. He, he even warned them, you better get it right. You think they did, and they didn't. That's Satan's lie. You think those seven churches got their act together, and they did not. If anything, they made it worse. Because who are the people killing the most people in the world right now? What do you call yourselves in the name of Jesus? When the Messiah never had to kill anybody to follow him, not one person to convert who? Oh, we got to eradicate Islam. When did he ever say go eradicate Islam? Or it didn't exist then? Well, then when did he say eradicate? Did he ever say go and eradicate the Romans to convert them to me? Did he ever say that? Go kill the go kill the Greeks, so they can accept Jesus Christ. We are the chosen. Did he ever say go kill anybody to follow him? No, he told his disciples, "You tell them, they don't want to do it. Move on." But then they also have you thinking that the church is a what? A building. When that is not even the case. Oh, but we have to come together and sing to him somewhere. Um, then why you have so many different versions of it if y'all are supposed to be one body? Why is there Episcopalian, Catholic, uh, Lutheran, all the different de denominations? When it's one Messiah, one Jesus, one, one Savior. Where you at? But I'll say, oh, well, now we're underneath Rome. Rome never, Rome is the church of Laodicea who he said, you are lukewarm. And they still are. They have mixed their spirituality and you're not even aware of it and they know this. The people who are on top of the Vatican are Masons. Nice Templars claiming that they got killed off by the no, that's all the they knew they have to give sacrifice to the demons that they worship. That's part of the game that they don't ever tell you. So it's all part of the role. They have to give blood to those and they eat, they choose who gets who gets chosen to give blood to them. The dead gods. They've always been doing that since the beginning. That's why the Most High said, I don't need dead animals. I'm a living God. I just did that for obedience. Some of y'all think you're living, and you really did. Because you really don't see crystal clear that you have fallen angels running your countries. And they're not even really countries. You're going to find that out real soon. They have pulled the wool over your eyes so bad, chasing after rights that you thought you had that you never had in the first place. And now they're going to let you know that. Oh, you were never free. We just made you think so. You're going to see that. you fighting for the wrong. you fighting to keep give us blood. It's going to come out. You are fighting to give these people blood, not for freedom or rights or country or whatever. You're going to find out. The Most High is going to be like, no, they sent you, they used you to kill my sheep. Hence the reason why Jeremiah 23 is in effect. 
Jesus, you better wake up. Hallelujah. Kembo na yo. Tatanzambi. Matantona Masaka for this message. I pray that it finds this message and it'll help you. I, I'm, I'm telling y'all, be careful. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I've been enough on the other side to know to not lie to people. To realize where you go when you mislead his sheep. Because I know there's a lot of people already there. That they thought they did it and they did there. No. They're going to find out you were working for the shepherd God and not the good shepherd. Because the shepherd God was a false messiah. That's why he said, you, this is why you say you don't understand your enemy. Your enemy was aware of what he was trying to stop for the Messiah to come. Now he's trying to stop his judgment. So what did he do? He did everything. Everything to, to do it. To taint everything. He wanted that bride to be so soiled that there's no way this Messiah is coming to, save, to, to, to judge me. That's what he wanted to accomplish. He wanted his that bride so soiled that the Messiah came in. And that's why he said you have to come out of the harlot in order to replenish yourself so that you're worthy of the bridegroom. That's why he said that. Come out of the harlot so you don't experience these plagues. Okay? Hallelujah. Ensambulolo, Betwabu. Um, please let us time to come together because I'm telling you, people don't even have a, this is 2021. We on the verge on the cusp of the end of days of Noah. And many of you have been given false doctrines. You don't even realize you are the false prophets he's talking about. You are the false sheep he's talking about and false shepherds he's talking about. You are the, were the false um, Christ coming in his name. That's why he said, I came in my father's name. God, Lord. Oh, his name was, uh, what do we call him? Yahweh. Okay. People. There are people who know they stole it. He said, I came in my father's name, but you didn't receive me. But another will come in his own name and him who he, he will, you will receive. What name is he talking about? You better figure it out. I'm telling you, I know most of us are glad that the Most High is starting to reveal this deception. And we were already saying it and saying it even before. And they made us believe it, we, that it was wrong. Or we, they made us change everything. When they already knew who we were. Kimbo, hallelujah. Kimbo, have a blessed, have a blessed week and prepare because it only, it's not going to get, y'all think it's going to improve? No, this is the time of sorrows. And many of you are going to suffer through these sorrows if you don't get on board with the fact that you need, you have to do work. Okay? With, with work. You have to do your work to get ready for the remnant to go home. Just like Noah did. He didn't just sit there and chill out. And, oh, the ark's going to build itself. The Most High didn't build the ark for him. He had to put in the work to make the, the stronghold. So if you want to get to the Most High stronghold, you got to put in his work. That he has given you instructions to do. Like myself, like everybody else in here. I have instructions. Everybody else has instructions. You know if the Most High came to you, he gave you instructions on how to prepare yourself. And if you don't have instructions, you don't know what instructions I'm talking about, then you are probably a part of the remnant. Kimball, hallelujah. Sambalola.